this video is going to be all about video compression and the way that video compression affects logic. Now, sometimes the playback of video, especially compressed video, can really slow down a computer's performance. And a lot of people don't understand why, because it's kind of counterintuitive. You'd think that something smaller would be easier to play back, but that's not necessarily so. So here we have a piece of video, right? And it's got to be played back on your computer. Now, anything that is played on a computer takes calculations, right? It uses CPU, which is represented by this calculator. Okay, so we have a movie running, but it's not just the movie that's running, right? Remember, we're going to run the movie alongside or actually inside of logic. So your computer has to play back two different systems, right? Logic, right? Logic's timeline simultaneously with the movie's timeline. Okay, so here's what happens when you run compressed video. I'm going to do some magic. Okay, we have compressed video. It's a smaller file. Seems like it should play back easier. But when video is heavily compressed, it takes a lot more CPU, a lot more calculating to decompress it before it can play back. That's what happens, which can make logic seem sluggish especially with older computers. They just can't seem to handle all of that calculating to play back that video. So it's not really about the size of the file. I mean, logic doesn't have to work so hard to play back a bigger file that is not compressed. It's all about compression because compressed video has to be uncompressed. And it's those Extra calculations needed to uncompress the video for playback gives logic that extra workload, which can slow it down. So why do people compress video? It's kind of a good question. Well, it all has to do with size, because smaller files, compressed files, are much easier for downloading and uploading. However, if you're looking to sync video to logic, choose a request a video codec, a, a compression that requires less CPU. So don't get depressed about all this compression stuff because I'm going to show you the type of video compression that I prefer in the next video. Hey, don't, don't go anywhere. You might miss it.